Welcome to a tutorial video for PVSol Premium 2018 Polystrings, Optimizers and Maximum PowerPoint Characteristics. This is a tutorial for more advanced users. So to do this we're going to uh, use an example uh, building with uh, four PV arrays facing different angles or facing different directions. Uh, initially we're going to connect all those areas up on a string inverter which has two maximum PowerPoint trackers which you can see illustrated in the drawing there now on screen and then we're going to uh, reconnect those four arrays onto a single maximum PowerPoint tracker but using optimizers or power optimizers uh, on each module and we'll then examine the differences between the uh, voltage uh, current and power voltage characteristics between those two choices. Indeed if we look on the screen and at the top chart, uh, the one with uh, all the lines on, you'll see uh, this is the characteristics for the string inverter with two maximum power point trackers. You've got both the power voltage and current voltage curves there. And as you might expect, the, um, the situation is quite complex given the uh, number of different angles and directions the modules are facing. Uh, if you compare to the lower chart, uh, this would represent the situation with the optimizers. We have a simpler chart and you'll also notice different uh, uh, current levels and voltage levels due to um, the way the optimizers are configured. In your own copy of PVSol Premium, you will have under the example projects uh, 3D polystring and 3D power optimizer in, in the list. You could open those after this video and see some pre-made examples, uh, but the, the project we're going to show on screen it will not be in that list. This is special for this video. Now opening the 3D design, and you can see there's already uh, an imported uh, photograph onto which we've got some buildings and indeed these uh, four uh, module arrays. We're in ter terrain view at the moment, just looking around, uh, getting the, uh, the best position to see all the modules. And you'll see there's a garage and there's a dormer uh, uh, on uh, and around a main pitched roof. So we're going into module configuration. We've got the four roof areas and we're now going to combine them together. Uh, control key on the keyboard and select with the mouse and uh, we're going to choose the polystring configuration box and we're going to manually uh, choose a, an inverter, an SMA inverter in this case and it's going to have two uh, maximum power point trackers. So we've got four roof arrays but two maximum power point trackers. And we're going to somehow combine that all together using this, this polystring feature. So we've given ourselves some extra strings using the little multiplication or positive uh, add row button. And we're now going to uh, put the, the right number of modules and link that uh, with the right hand drop dot box to uh, each roof area. So you can see we've got an eight and a five, a six and a six uh, module. Uh, quantity on the various uh, roof areas and you'll also notice that uh, some of these modules face southeast and f and others face southwest so we're going to link the, the ones that are facing the same directions together on the same maximum PowerPoint trackers. And once we've done that we can use the configuration check option by clicking on the icon next to one of the maximum PowerPoint trackers, in this case maximum PowerPoint tracker number two. And we can see that there is a potential issue with the uh, MPP voltage being a bit low. And also we got uh, 
rather high current uh, going uh, through that MPP. And we can also have a look at maximum power point tracker number one and we see a similar um, issue. So we may need to rethink the configuration as we have it. And the easiest way to do that is to select the connect strings in series option. And we can do that for both uh, maximum PowerPoint trackers. And this gives uh, more freedom to allocate the uh, strings uh, to the relevant uh, maximum PowerPoint trackers. And once we've done that, we can see we have a um, change in the uh, voltage and current characteristics. Uh, not all ideal, but um, it's certainly uh, possible to proceed uh, as long as the OK button is lit up at the bottom of the screen, just out of shot, then you can uh, go ahead uh, with the design, even if you have um, a red advisory red cross. So coming out of the edit configuration, we now get the overview uh, with the possibility to see and confirm the uh, numbers on each module, the second number referring to uh, the two maximum power point trackers in this case. So with uh, that all looking uh, in good order, we can come out of the 3D view and uh, head towards the uh, simulation. Um, just before we do that, we'll, we'll just do a few more checks. Um, we can just click on each of the arrays and uh, further details uh, are presented on screen uh, to, to confirm everything's OK. We'll have a look at the circuit diagram. Notice the letters A and B, the capital letters, are showing the, uh, the, the fact that we've connected strings um, together. Uh, previously, which was uh, to, to help with the, uh, the voltage and current situation. So if the circuit diagram is looking um, OK, we make sure we're uh, recording the um, uh, characteristic curves as shown on screen there. If we select that, then we'll be able to have a look at the uh, final outcome in the results screen. So once the simulation's uh, complete, we can um, look at the key factors that uh, affect this system. Uh, clearly, there's some shading that was part of that was unavoidable due to the buildings. Um, but there is also other issues um, with this um, system, and that includes the mismatch. Um, and that's why possibly we're going to try an alternative way of configuration using uh, optimizers in just a moment. Uh, the proof of the pudding is really under the characteristics. Uh, if we select those and um, have a look at the shading, the shaded uh, for, um, characteristics, we can see that there are some quite interesting shapes. Uh, and these um, can be quite complex, but effectively are showing how how the uh, the um, how it will be quite difficult for the string inverter maximum power point trackers to, to control uh, this type of system. Um, so if we start seeing all these these knees and elbows, as we call them, in in the curves, then we 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 start to have some concerns uh, at the success of this system. So there's a lot of ways to analyze uh, in the results. This is just, just uh, one aspect, um, current voltage or power voltage. Uh, using the uh, keyboard, but you can use the arrow key to, to um, uh, walk through each hour of, of the, uh, the year if you, if you wish to. But clearly, uh, we might wish to experiment and try a different f configuration. So that's what we're doing now. We're going back into 3D, going to edit the configuration and this time we're going to choose power optimizers as one of the options. So no longer going to be um, just using a, a, an ordinary um, string inverter. So we're going to change uh, 
to in fact the uh, the manufacturer cell edge and we'll choose one of their basic inverters and um, it's in, in this case only has one maximum power point tracker so we're going to need to add some further uh, rows which we can do because we've also got the polystring box ticked so four rows we've got four roof um, four roof arrays still as before um, we're going to um, link them all up as a single string so we'll make the relevant adjustments so all the number of the modules is correct and the uh, the there is the correct connection to each uh, roof area uh, we've got a big red cross by that se 5k inverter uh, it's actually because it's undersized so we're going to try a slightly larger inverter and that gets a green tick so that's going to be good so um, this may well allow us to progress by clicking the OK button and we can see there again in the overview that now we've got a um, single string you know all colored the same we can come out of the 3D uh, re-simulate and have a look at the results and compare those to the string inverter of course in this case we're, we're particularly interested in these um, voltage current characteristics uh, to see if we've got rid of those uh, the complications on the curve but uh, it's also good enough to, to use the uh, energy balance summary as well and uh, although we've still got the main shading we've we've uh, we've got rid of the mismatch uh, problems uh, nevertheless, there's swings and round amounts, and as you can see, there's a, um, the efficiencies of each optimizer also have to be considered. So, moving over to the diagram editor and the characteristics, making sure we've got the right uh, MPP box uh, uh, chosen, we can now um, have a look throughout the year, characteristics. We can use the drop down menu and the arrow keys on the keyboard to uh, select any time in the year, any hour in the year, and examine the curves. And uh, we can see there that the curves are looking a lot um, easier, simpler, and uh, that's uh, more likely with, uh, with the optimizers now controlling each module individually. Also, we get on screen there the uh, the, the diffuse and direct shading ratios. So thank you for listening and shortly we'll put up uh, our contact details uh, where you can uh, download a free trial copy of uh, the program that you've seen uh, which is PVSol Premium 2018.